Okay guys, so as always we're gonna start from sanding the top because we want to uh, reveal the wood and then we're gonna stain it for a quite dark color but we haven't decided yet but it's gonna be very dark so first it's gonna be 50 120 and 240 and here we go Okay guys, so we were struggling with the sanding paper because the layer of the varnish, lacquer, whatever it is on the top, it was too thick. So we've decided, hey, <laughs> we've got this burnishing machine with this attachment to sanding. So we're going to try this one instead of normal sanding paper. That's why we are outside because it's going to be a lot of dust. guys so the job is done and it took us about uh, 10 minutes instead of good half an hour or so with the normal sanding paper so it was quick it was really quick um, the only not the downfall but it I wouldn't call it a downfall I don't know how to call it the the grains are exposed so they're not like completely smooth you could when you're touching you you can actually feel the texture of the wood so we've decided we're gonna leave it like that because it's a uh, something a little bit different than, than usual. The only minus of this machine is that it doesn't have an attachment for dust, so dust is everywhere. Uh, this, this piece already been wiped a bit, but you can see some dust still left over here. But it was it was white, white covered in dust. I was covered in dust, Lucas was covered in dust, and uh, the camera is covered in dust. And uh, uh, some, some places were, are still not properly clean, like here, so We'll have to do it by hand and uh, just like I said, it, the grain is, you can feel the grain so we're gonna leave it like that. Keep watching guys. Hey guys, so we are back inside. Uh, we thoroughly washed the in, inside and outside of this uh, wee cabinet and the top is prepared to be stained and we'll be using dark oak wood stain. guys so as you can see uh, I secured everything with the masking tape and if you're thinking wondering what what is that um, I'm uh, covering the holes for the nails so it's easier to find when the piece will be done and we're ready to paint paint we are ready to paint so just like I said I'll be using, oh you can see it's white because of the sun, but it's uh, Annie Sloan English Yellow, oh, you can't see it, I'm sorry, let's get started. So the coat number one is dry, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna paint a second coat now. Okay, guys. So the body is painted now with yellow and it's drying at the moment so some of the parts are still wet but it looks quite all right but unfortunately the top it looks it looks a little bit milky and not as dark as we wanted it to be so we're going to put another 
coat of the wood stain. <laughs> guys so this is day number two I already applied two coats of the uh, yellow on the body of this uh, unit but now we'll be doing a coat of lacquer on the top of, on the top to protect it from scratches and all the other elements using a clear wax uh, anisloan as a base and then I'll be doing some black wax on the top so what you'll be needing uh, gloves because otherwise your hands will go black from the black wax you will need brushes to apply and I'm using this cloth uh, to take any excess off and you will need a small brush as well to accent details. Let's get going! So when the top was uh, drying, the varnish was uh, drying, I was uh, busy with waxing, so I did wax the, uh, the whole body. So this is how it looks like at the moment. So next step it's going to be to put the hardware back on. And before we do it, we're going to put another layer of the, another coat of varnish. But first we need to sand slightly with 240 uh, to smooth out the surface a bit. And then we will do the hardware. Okay guys, remember when I had this tiny bits of uh, tape to mask the holes? Now I've taken them off and there they are, easy to find. Hey guys welcome back so this is our small cabinet finish now as you can see it looks a little bit different than it was before uh, it's not that as red as it was before um, I think it looks a little bit better 
Anyway, if you enjoy our video, uh, please do subscribe to our channel to support our uh, Wii business and uh, give us thumbs up. You can also visit our Facebook and uh, Instagram page and you can have a look uh, into our shop as well. All the links will be uh, posted in the description box. So I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.